Hi everyone, it's Ken, Ken from Kenel606. Uh, just want to say hi. Uh, firstly, uh, sorry I've not been around. I've been, I've been um, under the weather, um, a bit ill, been on antibiotics, um, been a bit, a bit shit to be quite honest. So um, I haven't done any brewing because I haven't been able to drink. Um, I finished the antibiotics last week, but. I didn't feel like drinking because they were still working, so um, I think I had my first drink last night, which was a, I hate to say, it was a, a litre bottle of winter warmer, uh, which went down very nice. Um, my other half thought, she thought I'd gone off my mind drinking a whole litre of winter warmer in about very quickly, but it did, it went down lovely. So um, there I was drinking winter warmer, and there she was drinking tea. So, there you go. That's her look out anyway. But I thought it was very nice. Um, what's been going on? Um, absolutely nothing. I do lie though. I have done a batch of apple cider. Um, between 18 and 20 litres I've done. Um, our local Tesco's were doing um, apple juice. Not the Tesco Value one. But the next one up, the green balls, the green bottles with the little pictures on, I think they're about 80p a carton or 90, about 98p a carton. But I don't know why, but our local Tesco's in the Tesco Extra, which is about about four miles down the road, they're selling four packs off, all shrink wrapped with a little handle, for um, 80p. That's four by four liters for 80p. Um, and you can't knock that. So um, I've been buying apple juice a bit crazily. Um, got apple juice everywhere. It's but it's not short dated. It don't go out of date till August and September. So I don't know what they're doing. They've got the same thing with orange juice as well. Um, so what I've done was a cheeky little um, fermenter of apple cider. Um, what I've done was. Um, I put in 800 grams of sugar, um, a pot, a large pot of Bramley apple sauce, two pots, um, yeah, it was probably about a kilo of apple slices, and I put a complete kettle of boiling hot water in the fermenter bin, and I gave it a good stir till it all, till it all um, diluted. And I let it go till the water cooled right down just to make sure that it would kill any of the nasties off. Um, give it a good salt stir. And then I basically poured in apple juice up to about 19 litres. Um, did that. And then what I also done when I was in Tesco is they sell their cordial, their 50% uh, extra cordial. So what I'd done was I got an apple... They do an apple cordial with 50% extra or 50% real fruit. So what I've done was to so give it more apple taste is I bunged a litre of that in, um, which took it up to about 20 litres, um, just under. Um, and then I added in um, the, the yeast nutrient, the citric acid, the pectolase, um, some a tea bag, a cup of t uh, black tea for the tannin, and um, I also pitched a sachet, 11 gram sachet of ale yeast in there. Um, what I did the next two days later was um, I added in another couple of litres of apple juice just to make it up because I thought that well, you'll see, you'll see what the heads the the uh, the chrysan, chrysan on the top of the, the juices on the video at the end um, you can have a look at it so what I thought was I'm going to lose probably lose about that much so um, I just put another couple of juices in so I've probably got about 20 litres ish out of it um, I racked it off Wednesday what's today Whack, racked off Tuesday after Tuesday evening. Um, 
what I, what I got out of it was I got basically five litres for me, five litres for Kevin, and I got about another ten, just under ten litres left. So what I've done with that is, you'll see in the video at the end, um, is I've dry hopped it with Cascade that I had lying about. Um, I put a probably I used two plastic uh, demi johns. Um, what I'd done was I probably put about four or four and a half liters in each bottle, and then I put forty grams of Cascade in each. Gave it a good old shake. Then um, I'm just going to leave that now. Leave that till the end of next week, probably, and see what it's like, and um, then bottle it next not this coming weekend but the next weekend after um, and that should be an, a bit of apple cider but that's all right but the trouble is the winter warmer has gone down because Kevin little my drinking partner partner in crime um, he had some of my he had a few cheeky bottles last week so I'm coming down I've depleted on the old winter warmer so um, my brew schedule as it was is I was going over to doing some extract and all grain batches but I'm going to hold on to that for a minute and I'm the next brew I'm going to do it will be a wheat beer I'll be using a Cooper's kit I think um, I'm going to put in um, spray malt about 500 of spray malt but I'm going to use the wheat spray malt. I'm going to put 500 grams of sugar in with it. Um, but I'm also then going to add in coriander, cloves, orange peel, some grated orange, and I don't know if it's going to be either a vanilla, the whole vanilla pods or vanilla pod paste, bean paste. I'm not sure yet. Um, I shall probably boil the spray malt spoil the spray melt on the pan on the hob um, and then I shall add the coriander crush the crushed coriander some cloves the orange to that and um, what I shall do with the vanilla is if I use the pods I shall just leave drop them into the fermenting bin and just leave um, if I'm going to use the exact pods I'll just cut them straight down in half score them and just drop them in um, but if I use the paste, I'll add the paste to the, the spray malt. I haven't decided what yet, because I, I don't know what I don't know what, how much it's going to cost yet for the vanilla. I'm not going to need much. I'm not going to go over crazy and just buy loads of vanilla pods for it. Um, hopefully, then I shall let that ferment out and give that a taste. That may need to go to secondary, depending on how how the coriander, cloves, orange and vanilla come out. If they don't come out that strong, I may just go to secondary, add a little bit more in the, like, just just dry, dry, um, dry ingredients and just leave that go for a week. Um, and then bottle it. Um, and that should be a nice wheat beer. And I shall brew that, make that up to about 40 pints. Um, or... Yeah, about 40 pints anyway. But that's the next one I'll be doing. So I'm going to probably start that next weekend. Um, and then after that, um, I'll do a winter warmer kit. A Geordie winter warmer kit. Because that is a cracking kit. I know everybody's probably thinking, oh, Geordie kits, they're probably cheap and nasty and rubbish. But that winter warmer kit comes out a lovely dark ale. Um, I add... I think I added 500 grams of molasses sugar to it. I added um, 500 grams of medium spray malt to it, and I all and I added um, one of my things I add to most things now is Tesco's nighty night um, bedtime milk drink, which is um, about three to four hundred grams, and it's 82 uh, percent malt extract in there which just gives it a little bit of a bump uh, a bit of sweetness with it as well um, and I don't put the kit yeast in with it I put an ale yeast in with it and I leave that 
go and I'll leave that go for a couple of weeks and I will do that up to about 40 pints as well because I've got somebody that likes that um, and then the third brew after that um, I'm going to do a single hop um, a single hop brew and um, I'm going to probably do a Nelson Savion just a just a single hop ale probably just a pale ale with a single with just um, Nelson Savion I'm thinking but this all depends on one thing I know I'm definitely going to be able to do the wheat beer but um, as many of you know I was waiting to, I'm waiting to go in hospital um, I had my pre-op appointment this Monday just gone which went okay much I was tested like a freaking guinea pig um, <laughs> my partner was laughing all the way um, trying not to feel bad for me but she was laughing because I was I was done up with all these bloody pads and I was like connected to machines I was like a bloody six million dollar man at one point I thought or should I say a 6p or a six cent dollar man um, the majors I wasn't um, so I'm waiting for that now. I passed the pre-op, so it's going to be within anywhere from a couple of weeks up to eight weeks maximum before I have my operation. And when I have that, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be at least two months bed bound because I'm going to have a I'm going to be cut from I'm just going to be cut. I'm just going to have a, it's just a it's just a major op, um, just something I've had to get done. So I won't be brewing, lifting or driving then, So, but I need it done so everything can wait. But the wheat beer will be finished, so I'll have the wheat beer ready for the summer. I've got the Pilsner, I've got some Pilsner, um, I've got some Weary, I've got all the ciders, um, I've got the wines. And before I go for the operation I shall be sending out... Um, bottle packs to the people that they know they're going to have them um, but there's um, one other thing which I haven't forgotten um, firstly hello to my new subscribers um, I'm up to 55 now which I never thought in a million years that I would get close to but thank you very much um, Sorry I've not done a video for a couple, three, three and a half weeks, but stay with me. You'll see some other videos going up in the next few days. Um, I said I would do a competition for 50. I haven't forgotten about it. I will be doing it. And the prize this will be, will probably, I'm thinking either um, some packs of hops or a book or some pack mac caps. Or if you're in another country and you fancy a PayPal gift voucher I might do that so um, I haven't thought yet I've got to think of a question I still haven't thought about it because the health thing and real life stuff has got in the way of it but um, I haven't forgotten it anyway um, I've not watched a lot of homebrew videos I will catch up with them this weekend this week um, sorry about that I know I normally like writing bizarre comments on everything and everybody um, I will catch up and I will just catch up with everything um, but what you'll see in a minute is well once I've stopped babbling um, is what a bit of footage of the side the apple cider that I've been brewing um, and some other bits and bobs um, and that'll be right after I stop babbling I'll attach it to the end so what I'll do now is I'll say happy homebrew Wednesday to everyone um, see some more videos from me in the next few days um, I've got some other bits and pieces and the competition coming up um, I've just got to get a question sorted nothing too complicated um, I promise and I shall see you next week with hopefully I shall do a taste test on some of the, one of the ciders the, the apple cider that I've got going or I've got some of the other ciders or I've got the coconut, the lemon and lime, and the nut. And well, you'll have a C in a minute anyway. 
Um, but happy Homebrew Wednesday to everyone. And um, have a good week. If you're going to brew, do some good brewing. And I'll catch up with you soon. And thanks for watching. And if you liked it, click on like. And because um, it always means something to us all. And uh, have a good day. And I'm babbling, so don't tune off. I'll put, there's an extra bit on there, only a couple of minutes, so you won't get too bored. All right, thanks very much for watching. This is Ken L six o six, babbling as ever. See you next time. See you later. Bye now. Hi everyone. Just a quick video, just to show what's brewing in the kitchen at the moment. An update. This is the apple five gallon of apple cider I'm making with Tesco apple juice, sliced apples, apple sauce and apple apple cordial um, we've still got a Kreisen ring on there we're still bubbling away quietly uh, that's down, I've stirred it already today and it's still going like the clappers so that's that hopefully be ready by the weekend um, I'm going to hop half of it and I'm going to leave half of it whole um, that's the state of the ordinary mead at the minute semi-sweet mead um, looking quite nice at the minute this is the orange mead it's looking a bit cloudy because I took some out to test it the other day and it's clearing again it's clearer now than it was the other day I knocked it by mistake so it's clearing again um, so it's clearing and that's Joe's ancient that's Joe's ancient orange mead started over a month ago and that one's the semi-sweet which is started over a month ago and that's looking very nice so far sorry that's the boiler in the background um, walk with me everyone, walking through the kitchen, tiles, um, I've just, one of my experimental, experimental ones, I've just taken the nuts out of the, and the stem ginger out of the stem ginger and nut turbo cider, now I'm just going to leave that sit in there now, um, it's got a very bitter alcoholic taste, uh, very like a like a like a very burnt nut taste, um, and it's uh, it's very alcoholic. Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that in there. Like I said, that was an experimental one, and that might be a down the drain one. I only used a couple a couple liters of apple juice in that one anyway, so no great shake. Um, but yeah. That that was the ginger and nut turbo cider, but as I said, it's we still got it's still but it's still getting I'm still getting a bubble every thirty seconds or more. So um, I'm just gonna leave it go for another week and see what it's like in a week's time. Then if it's no good, I'm just gonna it will be drain cleaner. So there we go. And I'll show you the lemon and lime one and the coconut one in a minute when I get upstairs. Alright, thank you very much. This is Ken L 606 See you in a minute. Bye now. Hi, back upstairs again. Hi everyone. Um, this is the lemon and lime and lemon turbo cider. Um, as you can see, it's cleared out. quite well. Um, there's the lime and lemon. Stop fermenting now so I'm going to bottle that tomorrow. I had a cheeky taste last night and that is tasting nice. You get like an, um, a, li a lime, a very sh a slight sharp lime taste on the front note. Uh, lemon sweetness, sweetness, and then an apple back note. It's different, but nice. That's gonna. I'm gonna do that again. I think I'll see what it carbs like. 
in bottles, but I think that might be one for the summer or late autumn. That would be well nice, that would, on a summer's evening with a half a glass of ice or something. That would be nice. Um, and the one beside it, that's the coconut. That's the lime and coconut turbo cider. Um, I've not had a taste of that. Um, I'm going to try it in a week's time. Um, I'm a little bit weary. At least if I get one out of the three of the experimentals I'm happy with. At the moment it's one out of two I think because the, um, the nutty one's a bit bitter. Um, I don't think any amount of back sweetening will take the bitterness away. I'm just going to leave the nutty one in the demijohn and give it another week and see if it helps. But I don't know, that's the, that's the coconut one which is still bubbling every minute or so so I'm just going to leave that go for another week as well um, then I'm going to try it and again that might be drain cleaner but I'm, I got one out of three for definite because that lemon and lime one's a cracker anybody thinking about that one I got the recipe for that one and um, it clears really quick as well very nice and uh, that's what's brewing at the moment everyone although it's um, it's going to be beer next week, Sent waiting for the um, the wheat beer to come back, the wheat, the wheat kit to come back, and the wheat spray malt. Um, I thought I might as well use wheat spray malt in it, seeing as I'm using, I was going to put spray malt in it, I might as well put wheat spray malt, seeing as it's a wheat beer. Um, so, we'll just wait for that. And um, I'll hand you back to Ken on Homebrew Wednesday if there's any more. If not, I'll see you next week. This is Ken L 606 signing out. Bye for now. Hi everyone, I hope you can hear this. This is Ken L 606 um, You'll see um, my brewing of my, my cider, um, which I shall talk about in the beginning for my homebrew. Um, this is what I've come out with. This isn't everything. I've stashed, I've bottled and stashed, but I just thought I'd show you. Um, I've got, I suppose you could say I've got about roughly about 10, 9, 8 and a half to 9 litres um, dry hopping with Cascade, about 40 grams of Cascade in each. Um, that's going to be left for two weeks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest some of the... Um, the yeast off it and try try a yeast um, another just a four litre batch of um, cider off the yeast off to see what reusing yeast is going to be like not tried it so um, but this is uh, one of the two litres that I've got um, they're in the warm at the minute that these are um, and I've got some 500 bottles uh, what I should be doing next week is I shall hopefully be doing a, a taste test. Um, but um, it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, look. but um, I like the hop myself more than anything else, and that's looking okay. And I shall be doing a, a taste test of that as well in a few weeks' time. Because I'm going to hop that this week, next week, and then I shall bottle it the week after. So, middle of April to end of April for that one. And, um, so yeah, it's looking quite nice, but that's the end product of the beginning of the the uh, video that you, the, the, the 25 litre fermentation bin that you saw earlier in the video. And this is the end product, but not all of it, because a lot of it's in bottles put away. But I just thought I'd just give you a quick show, and I shall give a taste in a couple of weeks' time. All right, that's Kenel 606. Thank you. Bye bye.